Hi, welcome back to a new school year and back to Counselor's Corner. My name is Jill English. I'm a counselor at Dow High School, and I'm here today with Lori Halberg, who's also a counselor at Dow High. And Craig Hawkins was not able to come today. He's a counselor at Midland High, so the information that we will be giving today represents both high schools. Um, one thing that all students are very curious and ready and anxious for is to find out what their schedule is going to be when they start school in the fall. Schedules will be available on Home Access Center near the end of August, so be watching out for that. And then you will want to be sure to come into the school near the end of August to walk around the building, find out where your classes are going to be, and just get a feel for how your new school year is going to start. Now transitioning to a new school year is always a very important thing. Um, some people will be new to Dow High altogether the first time that they're there and then we will have returning students and every year brings something new. It's always good to start off on a positive note and some ways to do that number one is to make sure that you are communicating with your teachers. If you feel that you're struggling in something or you have questions please talk to your teachers about it because they will have great suggestions for you and help you with any questions that you may have. It's also really important for you to get into the habit of checking Home Access Center, taking a look at your grades, making sure that you're monitoring your progress, not getting behind in assignments, and you really want, want to start the year off on a good note. Also, checking your school email is a really important habit to get into because your teachers will be emailing you things, and they'll be expecting you to be checking that. If you feel that you are struggling in some of your classes and um, you've talked with your teachers, there are also some other options available and one of those would be tutoring. If you feel that you could benefit from a tutor, please come see us in the Counseling Center and we'll be able to set you up with some free tutoring and this would be with students who are volunteering their time through either National Honor Society or Key Club, but there are, those services are available and we want to be able to help you out so please come and see us. And the last thing that I'd like to talk about um, in terms of making sure that you can graduate on time is credit recovery. Those are uh, some options for that would be to take classes online. So one hour or possibly two hours of your school day, you might be taking an online class to make up credit if you possibly didn't pass a class the year before. So we're just starting this school year, but seniors are already thinking about next year. So that means they're looking at college applications and what am I going to do next year? Most colleges just want the students to go onto their websites and fill out applications that way. For students who are going to apply to University of Michigan, they will use Common App and that application can go to multiple schools um, all over the country. They check a box to which college they're going to send it to. The Common App um, has some essay questions, and they're actually available now, but students cannot set up an account until August 1st. And then individual colleges on that may have some specific essay questions as well. So students will go to whichever college they want to apply to, go to their website, apply to that college, and then they will go to parchment.com. Parchment.com is how we send transcripts electronically. And all seniors last year, when they were still juniors at the end of the year, set up their parchment accounts. So they all should have an account and know how to do it. If they forgot or have questions, they're always welcome to step down into the counseling center and ask us a question on how to send their transcript. Um, so that kind of brings up, how do I see my counselor? For those new ninth graders or maybe new students too, Dow High or Midland High, you might not know exactly how to see us. Students are welcome to sign up to see your counselor anytime. At Dow High, the main, or next to the main office is the Counseling Center, and they will go in there and talk to our office professional and sign up on our schedule, go to class, and then we will send a pass for them. At Midland High, the counseling office is in the basement, and they will go into the office, fill out a slip putting their counselor's name and a reason for why they want to see that counselor and they'll put that into a box and then from that they will receive a pass. So both schools they sign up and then we send a pass to them when we're available and when the student is available so that we can see them. 
but students are welcome to make an appointment whenever they need to. That's it for this month's edition of Counselor's Corner. Join us again next month.